The federal government has frowned at what it called irresponsible claims on national security and the Samoa agreement it signed with the European Union, vowing to seek redress in a court of law against any media organization believed to be publishing misleading stories. It specifically lamented that a media report on recent signing of the EU pact, which claimed was done to promote lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer, LGBTQ was non-factual, describing it as sensational. Now, the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, who said this at the National Press Center, Abuja, singled out a national newspaper for promoting such claims. Falsely accusing the government of signing a deal to promote LGBTQ. We found that despicable and wicked because the allegation is nowhere in the document signed on behalf of the federal government. Surprisingly, the paper put forward no evidence nor provide the agreement allegedly signed to prove their point. The baseless and sensational story unfortunately formed the basis for Utba, that means Friday sermons, by some of our respected imams around the country who were misled by the story, thereby raising tempers around the country. The post-Cotonou agreement or the partnership agreement is a vital legal framework for cooperation between the OA, CPS and the European Union with the aim of promoting sustainable development fighting climate change and its effect, generating investment opportunities, and fostering collaboration among OAPCPS members, member states at the international stage. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about